Hey, Gales and guys, it's Christopher Mosier from MyMediaHelper.com. So I picked up this, um, this USB to SATA drive uh, converter because I do have a drive that I want for my old um, computer, obviously, that I want to transfer. There's a lot of files on here. Um, this is a one terabyte drive and um, I'm dropping RAM all over the place. I would drop RAM wherever the hell I want to. <laughs> Just going to drop that RAM all over. Um, so anyways, I want to get the stuff off of here. Um, I wanted to get an external drive to put it on, but um, that's okay. That's that's the next step. That'll probably be another video, another review. But anyways, let's get into this. Um, it looks like a generic product. I'm not seeing made in China. Well, there's a big surprise there. Uh, I'm not really seeing a brand name on this. Um, so that's interesting. I just picked it up because it was like an Amazon pick and it's what I need. I just hopefully it will function correctly. And now the hardest part is to get it out of the goddamn box. So let's, without destroying, I don't really want to destroy the box, but I destroyed the box. So whatever. All right. Let's see what we got. It's a little thing. It's just a little box. It's a little box. It's got little parts in it. All right. So. All right, it's got a power power cord. Interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna get my power cord here. So it's got the power cord. It's got instructions. It's got the units. Um, so here's your plugins to your. To, I'm, I'm assuming to this to your SATA. Uh, I'm not sure what the hell that is, and then a USB connection. So. Let's get this out of the wrapper, I suppose. Do, 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 do. It's got instructions, but we don't need we don't need no stinking instructions. Okay, so let's do this. Let's plug in the power, and we need a power source, which is over there. My coffee pot's plugged in. It's gonna get my coffee all cold. All right, so I have to make the major sacrifice and unplug my coffee. There's that there. Um, let's get this in here. So it looks to be All right. So it looks like this unit goes here. Okay, perfect. And then this goes into your. That's right, so a closer inspection. I didn't need this part. Um, that's for older drive uh, with this particular connection. The the drive I needed with this for the SATA. My SATA is that connection. And then um, there's a drive connection for this. So you have, you actually have, okay, there's another connection for this. So around the whole, I don't know, outside of this thing and on the four sides, there are four different connections depending on the drive you have. That's awesome. So this part can either go into your fast speed connection or your USB. So that's what this um, little bit that came with the unit is. I'm gonna go direct into USB. So I gotta find an open USB port, um, which I have one in the front. And that's what you get for not reading the instructions. So there's other um, connections here on both ends. So we just have to match up the connection with this. So there we go. All right. So we've got um, the unit connected to that. There is a switch, a power switch. Okay. So it's on. The unit's plugged in. There's a blue light that's on. All right. And I can feel it running and my computer just um, did something. So let me uh, switch to Select choose what happens to removable drive. So let me switch Turn this off again. And just to show you, so the unit is in, I'm gonna turn it on. And then we'll bring up a folder here. All right, select choose what happens. This, my mouse is being pain in the nuts. All right, let's move this over here so you can see it. Let's see what we got here, babies. Look at this craziness. Is this it? This has got to be it. Computer. One terabyte. Yeah, that's got to be it right there, babies. This is exciting. I am excited about this. There's my ninja monkey. 
There's all my, my media helper stuff. This is awesome. I'm loving it. I don't even know if I need an external drive. Um, yeah, gals and guys, this is awesome. I am ecstatic. I didn't think. <laughs> Look, I'm in IT, okay? Not everything goes 100% for me. Usually it takes me uh, five times more to do something than I than I originally planned. So I didn't expect it to, to work this easy. I love this. I love this. I wish um, it doesn't give me any type of brand or anything. It's just some generic thing that I bought for like 25 bucks. Let's see how much I purchased it for. Um, okay, so I got this for twenty four twenty nine, as you can see, um, on Amazon.com. And it is absolutely doing what I want it to do. Uh, it's got all my information, which I haven't seen in over a year, which is exciting for me because I can go through that stuff. And it doesn't take much to get me excited. I'm not sure what this is here. Custom using live. Uh, I don't think that has anything to do with anything. Um and then there's Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Um, so I'm just going to try to, um, I don't know, just pull like a file over. What would I do? Yeah, we'll go into Ninja Monkey. We'll pull this one over here. There you go. It's beautiful. I love it. I'm in love with this thing, gals and guys. Um, so I, I can't wait to play and go through all my files. All right. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. And now, now I just have lukewarm coffee. Well, you can't have everything. So, yeah, babies. Here's the stats. Universal hard drive adapter. Transfer rate up to 5 gigabytes. Why compat, compat, compatibil, compatibil, comp, compatib, compatibility. Compatibility. <laughs> uh, that's what you get when you have lukewarm coffee. You can't pronunciate. Support hard drive's capacity up to 6 terabytes which is awesome. Okay. And uh, power supply, which I showed you. Okay. Very cool. Let's see what their ratings are here. Um, I, I would give it um, so far, I would give it five stars. Absolutely. Yeah. It seems consistent to what I would give it. The manufacturer is Yinyo Chang Tech. Okay. If they say so. I don't see that on here. But, um, all right, fair enough. All right, and all right, gals and guys, um, as you can tell um, by this video, I'm pretty, I'm pretty freaking excited about this. Uh, and, I mean, I didn't do any large files transfer, but I did that image, and it was like lickety split. So I, I'm pretty confident, and I'm not in a hurry. So I'm pretty confident this will uh, transfer files over pretty quickly. All right, gals and guys, I guess I'm done yammering about this product. Um, I can't highly recommend it enough to what I've seen so far. And so if you're looking for to get shit off your old drives, I mean, that's probably the easiest and less expensive way to do it. Um, just make sure you have two power cords so your coffee doesn't get lukewarm because um, that is a travesty in itself. And I thank you as always. I appreciate you as always. If you could please subscribe because shit, wouldn't I love to do this for a living? And um, I don't know, share this with someone who needs to get crap off some old drives and um, thumbs up, thumbs this up. Like this, like this video if you liked it. Like it twice if you hated it and hit that stupid fucking bell for updates. And I got some other shit I got to review for you. So... <laughs> I'll be right back with some other videos. All right. Thanks, folks. I'll catch you soon.